Okay, so this is our epilogue uh, laser engraver and cutter. Um, so you can use these to uh, engrave and cut different materials. Um, if you go on our CECS website, um, there is a sheet up there that explains more of what I'm going to talk about here and also a list of materials. But for now, we're going to run through how to set up your material inside the laser. So I have this nice block of wood. Uh, first thing we do is we turn on the laser and there's a switch power on, power off switch right on the side here. So once we have our laser on, uh, we have nothing on the screen right here. So let's open up this door. The other thing is before we touch anything inside the laser, make sure to put your safety glasses on. So we lift up this door and we take our block of material and place it up to the edges of the top left corner of the bed. Once we have that, we want to home the laser to the top left corner of our material. So the way we do that is on the keypad, we hit X, Y off, and then hit go. Now it shows some arbitrary coordinates on the screen, and that allows us to move this laser, um, move the rail up and down. So what we want to do at this point is then turn on our laser beam. So we have this pointer button right here in the top left. Hit the pointer button and now our green light turns on. So now we can actually see our laser inside our print bed. We want to bring this laser to the top left corner of our material. Once we have that set, we want to hit the set home button. Now our keypad reads reset home slash center. So it's done. It's now homed to that top left corner. The next thing we want to do is make sure our material is focused um, by moving the bed up and down. So we have this little triangle guy here. And when we put this onto the laser, we want to make sure that this flat piece of the triangle um, hits the edge of the material. So we can set this onto the rails of the laser. And there is a switch right inside in this bottom left hand corner over here. And so that moves the bed up and down. So again, we wanna move it up so that the edge of the corner meets the material. Once that's done, take your T and flip it and then we're going to set it right back up onto the laser. Um, then we can close, close our door and we're basically ready to print. Um, look to another video for how to use the software on this computer here um, of how to actually set up your part from SolidWorks or your image file um, to start cutting or engraving. But as far as setup, um, that's all you need to do on the keypad. Two more very important things before we start uh, cutting or engraving is come over to these machines and we're gonna hit this power button and that turns on the ventilation for this machine. Um, so any of the fumes that come out from the material, they'll go through this vent. And then the last thing is also the air compressor. And now you're really ready.